What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Pixel 4a. Now the Pixel 4a should be out next month and we've got some information on it. This tweet comes from Stephen Hall who is from 9to5Google. He tweets that he's pretty certain I mentioned this before but I can confirm the Pixel 4a doesn't have Active Edge, first of the Pixel line to leave it behind. Now, if you're not sure what Active Edge is, that is when you squeeze your phone, an action would happen on the phone. So it would bring up like Google Assistant and allow you to interact with it that way. So they're removing that from the Pixel 4a phone. Also, what we know about the Pixel 4, at least what it seems anyway, is a user on Reddit got a survey showing the potential prices for the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5. And it says, if these were your only options, which of these Pixel smartphones would you prefer to buy? It says Google Pixel phone, a radically helpful phone from Google, durable plastic body, and includes a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack starting at only $349, or the premium Google Pixel phone, which is the best flagship Google phone, first access to the latest Google features and innovation, best in-class camera, wireless charging, and water resistance starting at $699. I just keep hearing so many like good things about the Pixel 4a. The price at $349 is amazingly low. And just based off, you know, some of the charts we've seen for performance and it's got a new modern design, this could be a huge, huge phone Android-wise for people to buy. Next up is all about the iPhone 12 series of phones and it comes from Ross Young, who I interviewed a couple weeks ago at this point. Now he goes on to show information about the 12, 12 Max, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max aspect ratios, resolutions, and all of that. So let's take a look. Saying that the iPhone 12 is gonna have a 5.42 inch display, 2348 by 1084, 476 PPI. It's gonna use a Samsung display. iPhone 12 Max is gonna have a 6.06 display, 2540 by 1174 with 460 PPI. And that's gonna use an LG display. iPhone 12 Pro, again, a 6.06 display. Same resolution as the previous 12 Max with 460 display and a, they're gonna use a Samsung display. And then the iPhone 12 Pro Max, 6.67 inch display with a resolution of 2785 by 1293, 459 PPI Samsung display. I don't know about you guys, but if I have to upgrade my mom this year, which I don't think I do, but if I do, I think I'm gonna get her the iPhone 12 Max. I think that's gonna be the perfect mix of a nice big display, but being probably well-priced at the same time. Now, this other tweet also comes from Ross Young, who talks about the availability of the iPhone 12 later on in the year. He's saying, we also hear that the iPhone 12 panel production will start around six weeks late. So rather than early June, it won't start till the end of July, which should imply a delay in the iPhone 12 launch from September to October. So obviously the reason for the delay is the lockdown, the quarantine that's going on right now all throughout the world. Some, some countries and states are open at this point. Most are not though fully. So that's why there's going to be the delay and this is it gonna affect them overall? Probably not. You People that are gonna buy iPhones, I think are still going to buy iPhones. But also at the same time, is this gonna affect Samsung? Is this going to affect you know other companies? Is Google that relief phones at the end of the year? We'll have to wait and see, but it, from, from what we've been hearing, Samsung at least is not going to be delayed. Now the last few stories about the Note 20, Note 20 Plus, and they're about the camera and what it's going to potentially look like. Let's get into it. The first tweet comes from Ice Universe who says that the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will use 108 megapixel camera, but add a new sensor to assist in focusing and completely solve the focusing problem. So if you were worried about getting a Galaxy S20 or you have an S20 and you're tired of the auto focusing issues and you're worried it will never ever completely be fixed, at least you can go to the Note 20 Note 20 Plus at that point and get a sensor that's going to fix the auto focusing. So that's great, great news. I'm actually quite excited to switch over to that phone. But yeah, that looks like the 108 megapixel will remain, and but auto focusing will be uh, fixed. But maybe worried or want the 100X zoom while well, we have information on that as well. This tweet also comes from Ice Universe who says the Note 20 series no longer retains 100x zoom function. Doesn't really upset me that much. It's cool to have. 
I mean, it really is cool when you're like taking a picture of the moon or something. I think that's the best case example of something like this. At least it comes out somewhat not looking like a painting because if you do it to a person, they just turn into a big painting. So not the end of the world that it's not gonna have 100X zoom. Doesn't really bother me that much. Let me know about you guys, does it bother you? And the last story of the day is the potential look of what the Galaxy Note 20, not the Note 20 Plus, but the Note 20, the smaller version of this phone is going to look like. Now, Ice Universe tweeted it out, but ultimately it comes from Schnell Case and Harmless Carl, who show off the front design of this phone with the punch hole smack dab in the middle, the squared design, the buttons on the right hand side, volume up and down and power buttons. And then on the other photo we have is going to show the back. And remember this is the Note 20, three cameras, and it almost looks like it's in a case, obviously, because Chanel makes cases, so it's more of like a case design. And uh, you know, nothing too crazy looking about it, nothing too magnificent, but it is a, a cool potential first look at what we're gonna see with the Galaxy Note 20. There you guys go, that is your news for today. Your question of the day is, what do you think about the design of that Galaxy Note 20? Is it, do you love it? Are you just okay with it? I'm just okay with it. I mean, it's not really anything too surprising and it doesn't have to be. I mean, I have a, I have a, a case on my phone all the time and I'm, you know, I'm never looking at the back that much. So whatever, doesn't matter to me. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.